All right, so I've been kind of enjoying some of this temperature stability testing. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of test two powder stay. We're gonna test one that is known for temperature stability in Varga and one that is known for poor temperature stability in Superformance. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use the same bullet, the 108 Burger Bowtail, CCI 450 primers, and we're gonna use the same cartridge overall length. Now, I don't measure cartridge overall length, I measure cartridge-based ogive. These are that 1.9 eight two that you've seen me shoot with the 108 burgers all the time with the Varget. 34 grains of Varget, 39 grains of Superformance now. I use low data for Superformance. I've never shot this load, so hopefully we're not starting too high, but I went about two grains below max, so hopefully we'll be in a good spot. Now I went ahead and got rid of the, the center temperature today. We're gonna do refrigerated rounds at 35 degrees, and we're gonna do hot rounds at 125 degrees. Use the same methods I used in the last video, the sous vide for the hot rounds and the refrigerator for the cold rounds. Rounds are gonna stay in there for at least two hours, and then we're gonna go out and shoot them and see how our temperature stability is. So let's get out on the range. All right, we're out here on the range. The target is at 100 yards. Those orange circles are half inch. This is my Seekins Havoc hit, chambered in 6GT getting velocity through our lab radar, and I'm shooting off my new AccuTac WB4 bipod and rear back. So temperature stability test time. We're gonna go get the cold rounds out of the refrigerator and uh, shoot them first. We'll start out with Superformance, then shoot Varget, and uh, then we'll go grab the hot, hot rounds. Obviously we're getting our velocity through our lab radar, and it's a beautiful day right now. It's probably only 70 some degrees. Um, humidity's not terrible, and it really should be a good day to do this test. All right, so I'm gonna go run and grab those rounds and then we'll go ahead and shoot them. All right, so I've brought a piece, a piece of paper towel here and I'm actually gonna wipe each one of them to try to eliminate the condensation today. Now, it's not as hot as it was the other day when I'm shooting, so I'm hoping we won't have as much, but that was causing a sticky bolt lift, which I didn't really like. So I'm gonna wipe all three rounds, put them in the gun, and then we're gonna shoot them. So they just came out of the refrigerator, they're very cold. Gonna start out with the Superformance ones. Okay, we're gonna load them in and shoot them. Okay, three rounds of Superformance here. All right, actually doesn't look like a bad load, does it? All right, now I'm going to quickly wipe these Varget rounds. We're gonna shoot those. Okay, a little bit of technical difficulty there with the lab radar came disconnected my phone, but that should be fine. It'll just take a second to restart it here. All right, rounds with Varget here. All right, so we had 28.90. I think 2900 and 2902. I didn't want to wait. It takes a minute for this to get connected and I didn't want those rounds to warm up. So, and then what I'm gonna go do is go grab those really warm rounds. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with the warm rounds now. Um, we're just gonna talk about what we did there. We had a 2817 average with the super performance load and 2898 with the Varget load. So about 2,800 and about 2,900. Okay, so we've got the round loads. Gonna go ahead and put them in so I can keep, keep them all straight. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead with the Superformance loads first. I'm curious what these will do. I wouldn't be surprised if we gain 100 feet per second out of these. Okay, so these loads were at 125 degrees with Superformance here. Twenty nine forty eight. Oh, that one was weird. Twenty nine oh one. That was twenty eight eighty four. So pretty big jump there, didn't we? We averaged twenty nine eleven. Gonna go back to our Varga loads here. All right, 
So we have a 2894 for the Vargat loads. So if we look at it here, I'll throw the numbers up on the screen. But with our first superformance load, we were 2817 average. With our second superformance load, we were 2911. So that's almost 100 feet per second different. Whereas with Vargat, first load was at 2898. And then the hot load was at 2894. So four feet per second change and it actually went down. So really I'm sure that's within the margin of error with three shot grips. So let's get over and take a look at the target. They both don't look too bad. Alrighty, so what we're looking at here is the target we just shot. Um, we've got the Superformance load on the left and the Vargat load on the right. Now both group sizes are about the same at 0.75 for Superformance and 0.77 for our Vargat load. Pretty impressed with those over almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit, really, um, you know, three quarter of a way. That's not bad. Now, if we get to our velocity numbers, the point of this test here, cold for Superformance 2817 with a 4.7 SD, and then hot for Superformance 2911 with a 32.9 SD. So out of those three shots, we had some weird stuff going on whenever we got really hot. The other thing that happened is as you can see there, we had almost 100 feet a second difference. So that tells us that this definitely is not temperature stable, which we knew that. I just wanted to kind of test to see what one of these powders would do. Now we look at our Vargat load. The cold ones, we shot 2898 feet per second with a 6.6 .6 SD, and our hot one shot 2894 feet per second with a 2.5 SD. So two things here, our SD is consistent it's good both times and our velocity basically did not change. We had four feet of second change and we actually went down with the, the warmer rounds, but I'd say this is within the margin of test. It really didn't change at all. So this tells us why people love to use Vargat in competition. Seems like it's extremely stable. Shot a 0.77 inch group for six shots and that's over almost 100 degrees of temperature change. So if I look back at some of the other powders that I tested that were 40 or 50 feet per second change from the, the hot to the cold, they were ball powder, so that's about twice as good as what a normal ball powder like Superformance would do, but it's still nowhere near what Vargat would do, and likely this is the same as what H4350 would do, and that's why we always tend to use these powders. So this proves to me that I'm going to continue to use Vargat if I wasn't going to before. Stay ball, 6.5, stay ball match, they're, they're good powders, they're better than say like a Superformance for stability, but they're not as good as Vargat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you next time.